We're going to teach you how to pass your prop firm accounts. We're going to how to grow your personal accounts. And for those who have work and outside life commitments, we're going to show you how to do it hands free so that you never have to worry again and you can just keep on winning. I'm Taylor. This is Perfect Entry. Let's get into the video. Let's jump into it. Now you've probably seen my other videos on the shark indicator. Now the shark indicator itself has undergone a change recently. We now have a new filtration system, which means that not just having sharks, you will also have whales. When you have the whale, that's an extra filtered trade. So for instance, if I scroll back through, we will be able to find trades which don't have the whale. All of these are filtered, that's fine. And we'll get to some shortly. If not, I'll jump to Ethereum because it has a bunch of them all the time. But you will find occasionally, like this one, you will have a shark, which is an unfiltered trade. This is a trade that we definitely don't want to be taking. Now, what we can do is we can look at our spreadsheet and you'll see that our profit factor has recently jumped up massively. If you remember, we were sitting, and I'm gonna actually show you because I have it here. Our profit factor had dropped all the way down to about 1.2, 1.3. See our win rate per session, we'd had a couple struggle months where we'd barely broken even. Well, now, if I scroll to the days I should trade, we have leveled up the days that we should be trading to be even higher in win rate than they were previously. Previously, these were in the mid ones. And we've also now looked at, hey, if Tuesday and Wednesday aren't any good for trading, then why bother? We'll just trade Monday, Thursday and Friday. This is Monday, Thursday and Friday. It's also only the filtered trades, so the ones, again, with the little whale. Now in this case, where it's moved up, it means that this one's hit take profit and it's triggered a new entry. If they haven't changed, then they're both the same still. Now, you can see that we've got consistent gains per month. If you're trading on a prop firm, you're going to be looking at 0.5% risk, which means this month you would have passed phase one challenge and almost your phase two. This one you'd have passed phase one. This one you'd have done phase one and a half. This one you'd have done phase one and two in one month. Uh, this one you'd have done a phase two, but not quite a phase one and the same here. But this month's also not finished. We do have a, another day left. Uh, of which there were actually some winning trades. You have one, two winning trades. So that should help push that up a little bit more. Now, we have pushed this massively up compared to where it was. To do that, we have had to take in some special measures and I will take those into account now. So I've listed them down here. New York session, which runs from 1700 hours to two in the morning. Uh, again, all these timings are going to be UTC plus four. Uh, we had a good win rate, but to increase it higher, we had to cut out the hour of 1600, which obviously wouldn't have been taken anyway because we start at 17, but we had to cut out 1800. We have to cut out that one hour because the win rate on that one hour was about 16%. And when we had 33 trades in that, it really was just bringing our win rate down, which meant it was not really any good for us. So in doing so, we've kept all of the good hours. You'll notice that even this one, it's like 36%, which we only actually need 28 to be profitable. So you can see that we've cut one hour out of that because it just wasn't working for us. In Asian session, which runs from four in the morning, until 1 p.m. That four in the morning till 1 p.m. session, we had to cut out 11 a.m. Again, it just simply wasn't working for us. There might be a possibility in the future that we cut out the 5 a.m., the hour of 5 a.m. However, for now, I'm leaving it. I'm gonna wait until there's sort of uh, maybe 30, 40 more to trades in there before I determine if I'm cutting that one out as well. Although it is very close to being cut. The issue is that again, it's within about 3%, just slightly under 3% of the break even point. So 
when there aren't that many trades in it, it hasn't warranted enough yet to cut it. And then last but not least, in London session, which runs from 12 to 8, again UTC plus 4, we are actually cutting two hours out of this. We're cutting the 1600 hours and we're cutting out the 1800 hours. This one had like, I think, 37 trades. Again, it was like 16% win rate. This one, obviously, you saw as per New York session because they're the same, they overlap. So we have cut out those timings and it's made big improvements to our profit factors. You can see the Asian session is slightly lower than the other two at the moment, but again, if I was to cut out 1100, we would probably raise that up by enough that Asian would then jump up to like 1.5, 1.6. Now again, if I go back, we are trading just Monday, Thursday, and Friday. So all of these three sessions from market open until the end of New York on Monday. From market handover Wednesday into Thursday, you will trade all of that until market close for the week. Now it's important to note that when you're setting everything up, this was tested on an Awanda chart and it's very specific. Because we're running on very low time frame art it's important to always stick to what has been tested on i have tested this purely on awanda and if i was to go to like the ic markets version or the forex.com version they all have very different price slightly different pricing and price action and it can lead to discrepancies in where trades would be so for consistency i would recommend that you also plot your trades from the awanda version just to keep everyone consistent with the backtesting data. Now you're probably wondering, how do I trade all three sessions in a day for three days a week? And the answer is you don't. Um, what we can do is we can go into the shark, you click the three little dots, you're gonna click add alert, and then you're gonna be looking for these two trades here. You've got filtered long trade found and filtered short trade found. When you have those, you can copy the, in the Discord, there is settings for the alerts that will pre-write this for you, so you can just copy and paste them in. You're gonna set them to once per bar close. I have TradingView Premium, so I can set open-ended alerts. However, if you don't, just set it as far as you can and remember to update it. So I think uh, it allows you almost a month in advance, so you could just set it for your month, and then at the end of every month, you just have to remember to go and change it, and again, you would then use a webhook URL for alert. I'm using Alertatron because this is sending trades to the Discord for the private signals, but you can use any of the following tools and you would just paste your webhook URL in there. And then once you've done that, you would create your alert, one for long, one for short trades, and then you're gonna want one of these three tools. Now, I alluded to it when I suggested talking about Alertatron, but you're gonna want either this, which is tradingview.to. And I'm not going to go to pricing. It can copy to a bunch of platforms, including DX Trade, MatTrader 4 and 5, Trade of 8. You could use Copygram, which is DX Trade, Match Trader, and Trade Locker. Or you could use Pine Connector, which does just MT4 and 5. This one's also the most expensive one of them. Copygram and tradingview.to are a lot cheaper. When you set up with these, you basically connect your webhooks, you connect an EA to MetaTrader, use Amazon Web Service, they have a cheap and free for one year uh, VPS that allows you to just have MetaTrader or whatever platform you're using running in the background without you worrying about it. You just connect it up, let it run. I personally use um, the name of the VPS I've got is disappeared from my head but I'm sure it'll come to me later but any VPS that you have access to that's cheap or free is good worst case you could get a Raspberry Pi computer they're like 30 pounds these days you could set one up in the corner of a bedroom let it run with MetaTrader open or you could just use your main computer if it's one that you leave on all the time remember in order for these webhooks to fire and actually execute the trades you will need the platform open all the time so you would get your webhook from this, put it into your alert. Anytime the trade triggers from these, 
it will send the alert off with the stop loss and the take profit and your entry price it will go and enter for you at the correct risk management saves you calculating anything and then all you have to do is wait so you can use any of these three tools to do the copying however there is one step further now obviously we mentioned that you need to filter out certain hours from your trading we mentioned that on Asian session we're not taking 1100 hours London session we're not taking 16 or 1800 hours same with New York you're gonna want this this is a completely free tool that all it does is you tell it what hours you don't want to be trading or taking EA trades and it will go and disable the copy trading for you so that it just doesn't place that allows you to follow this sheet perfectly because you can set it up that hey no nothing on Tuesday nothing on Wednesday and these few hours on Monday Thursday and Friday don't trade and it won't so successfully you have now gone from spending however many hours a week you spend analyzing charts learning watching YouTube videos on trading researching reading books and all of that time you spend wasted now you're set up completely you do almost no work for it you're going to consistently pass prop firms because there is the highest loss streak in here is six and considering I'm going to suggest that for a prop firm you take 0.5% risk per trade it means that most months you'll be passing a prop firm personal accounts personal accounts you can get away with three five percent per trade again because we don't have many losses in a row you can get away with it uh, at which point you see the gains at this point are just ridiculous now sure if you're trading on a lot of capital say you're trading a hundred thousand dollars personal capital take one percent don't take the risk but you're trading a small hundred dollar account that you don't care about ramp the risk up three five percent per trade let it scale you'll find that at five percent risk per trade if you're getting these kind of gains you're actually probably gonna grow quicker than most people who would ever go through a prop firm manually anyway now obviously we can do prop firms pretty much automated make it nice and easy but yeah again it's really easy to pass a prop firm now you have a tool you can set it up using any one of these it's nice and simple you can get it to stop trading when you need it to using this free tool all you have to do is get a membership to perfect entry a market master membership or I'm offering the shark completely standalone if that's all you're ever gonna want saves you playing for anything else you get your copy of the shark or the perfect entry market master membership you get one of these the pricing on this is like I think seven pound a month ah, yeah seven pound a month which would be nine ninety nine dollars a month this I would have to check the pricing it's buried in there somewhere and this one's a little bit more expensive but realistically this is probably the cheaper one so now you would have your system that you're gonna take these trades copy them to your account stop them when you need and you can pass your prop firms you can grow your personal accounts you can do whatever you need and you have the whole day that you can go and spend and enjoy with your family you can go for a run you can go to work you can go to school to study do whatever you want because this is handled for you this is one less reason to trade manually because you don't need it I'm Taylor this is perfect entry enjoy life in the easy lane